this one is definitely my favorite tote bag ever just look at that beautiful inset zipper let me show you how easy that is Hi everybody, welcome to Catherine Sews. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I wanna to build on my last video where I showed you how you can design your own tote bag to your own size, materials, pockets, details, to all your own personal specifications. And today I just wanna build on that by showing you how you can quite easily do an inset zipper closure on your tote bag. Now I scoured YouTube to find different ways of doing that inset zipper and I found what I thought was the most beautiful technique. It's from Mama Project. I just totally want to give her credit because this is a super slick, easy way of doing that zipper tutorial. I'm doing it with my students now and they just, it's just so easy. So let me show you how you do it. So just like in my previous video, you're going to do all your planning to how you want your tote bag to be. And then you'll get it to the point where it's flat You've got your pockets on, whatever base you want, all one fabric or multiple fabrics, whatever you want. And then also your lining. For my lining, I'm using one of those city banners that I'm gonna save from going to the landfill and upcycle. And it's just making a beautiful lining. And I use the top part of it to make the pockets. It looks really good. For my straps, I made a little short video to show you how I put together the faux suede and the twill tape to make a really gorgeous strap. So I'll link that here. The only difference is now that your lining rectangle is going to be four inches shorter than your outer bag rectangle. So you'll cut it down four inches. You'll replace that with two strips that are three inches deep and the exact width of your bag, two of those. And you'll need a zipper. I like to use a zipper that's extra long. It just makes it extra easy. Once you've got that together, the zipper inset becomes the top part of your lining. So let me show you, it's really easy. I just want to focus on the zippered inset for this video. So this is the lining for this tote bag. I've cut two pieces of my faux suede that are the same width as the tote bag um, and just three inches deep. On the corners of the strips as well as the corners of the lining, we'll just be cutting out two centimeters or three quarters of an inch of all four pieces. Good, just like that. So now with the cutouts on these two strips, I'm gonna take the zipper and go right side together onto that strip. I like to have the little zigzag edge here in line with the cutout. As soon as I get that clipped in place or pinned, I know I've got it right sides together, then I'm gonna move that slider all the way out of the way. And that's that's why an extra long zipper makes it so much easier because I don't have to work around that slider at all. So there's one side sewn and now I want to slide that zipper right over to get the other edge of the zipper onto the other strip. The zipper and this strip are still right side together. I'm just going to sew right down there. So both sides of the zipper are sewn on and when you move the slider right out of the way like that, you don't even have to use a zipper foot. I just move my needle a little bit to the left to be closer to the zipper. Good. And so now I want to take the lining and go right side together with my strip. The zipper will be sandwiched in between my layers and you can sew this all together as one right from the start, but I'd like to show you step by step. Okay, so if I clip together this way, I can sew right on the same line, but this time with my lining in place. The zipper is going to be sandwiched in between the layers. Okay, so there we have it, and you can just double check that everything is right. Zip up and it should look like that, right? Good, but before we go any further, I wanna edge stitch the zipper. To edge stitch, I wanna push seam allowance toward the strip and just stitch right close to that edge there all the way down under stitched there we go and now we bring the bring the strips right side together and the lining right side together and we're just going to sew straight down at the 15 line or 5 8 line on both of those i can also do a back tack over the end of my zipper and then cut off the extra good so I sewed the 15 line or 5 8 line on both ends of the strip and the sides of the lining. I left a gap on one side to be able to turn the bag later 
and I sewed a little back tack right across the teeth on a nylon coil zipper like this. You can sew right on the teeth. A metal or a heavy plastic zipper is going to be much trickier to deal with there. So now we just have to deal with those little cutouts. This is just like boxing the corners that I'll be doing on the bottom of the bag. And so we just bring those openings out flat and also open the seam allowance out flat and try to get that all centered and stacked. And then you just sew straight across there. So there I've sewn across the one end and I can cut that zipper even closer now. And then same thing on the other end. Here, I'll just move the slider out of the way and I'll just make sure I don't hit those metal stoppers. open up that seam allowance. Good, so there's your stack. And I'm just gonna sew right across there. Good, so both ends are closed up. And so now this is basically my new lining. <coughs> Look how nice that is. This is gonna go inside the bag just the same way I would put a regular lining. It's exactly the same from here on out. I'll be boxing the corners. You can put it on the end of your ironing board or even just on your hand. And you just want to get this seam right in the middle of this point. I'm just going to finger press it, open nice and flat on the back. And then about two inches or five centimeters from the point, also straight across there. So the corners are boxed on the lining. I don't even trim that off, I just leave it. So the lining is all prepared. For the outer bag now, I've got my base prepared, my pocket prepared, and those straps, which I am in love with. Make sure the strap is not twisted and then put it right side down and then just make sure the other one is even and I'll just sew a little line just at the edge of my presser foot across the top there. The straps are on both ends. That goes together. The right sides together. I'll be matching up that seam really nicely and I'm going to sew both sides at the 15 line or 5 8 line. No gap. I press the side seam open and flat. And then before taking it off the ironing board, I keep it in that position with the seam right down in the middle of that triangle, right center. And put a couple pins or clips. And to box the corners, I'll just be sewing straight across at about two inches or five centimeters from the point. I'll sew straight across there. Okay, good. Both the outer bag and the lining have all four corners boxed, and I don't cut this off, I just leave it. And we're actually really close to finishing. I'm gonna flip the main bag right side out. There's your boxed corner that looks so nice. So I've got the lining inside out. So with that fully unzipped now, I'm gonna take the outer bag and put it inside here. And it feels really wrong, but it's really right. Even the strap goes inside in between the layers. So you can see that I've got the two bags right side together. And I'm gonna put seam to seam. Put a pin right through one seam, out the other, back through. So I know I've got those two seams nailed together. Same on the other side. Basically, you're getting the two circles to fit together. The only part of the strap that's in the seam is the very end. And we'll put a couple clips, making sure the edges are together and making sure those two circles have come together evenly. Perfect. Okay, now I'll just sew around the whole outside edge at the 15 line or 5 8 line. We're really almost done. You can do an extra back tag over the strap to make sure that stays strong. So good, the two bags are joined. Make sure you don't have any puckers, that everything went together nice and smooth. Good. Now finding the gap in the lining, I'm going to take that outer bag and pull it all out. Couple more things to do before we're done. 
One is to now sew up the gap in the lining. Pull the end so the edges come together and sew nice and close to those edges. Okay, I just sewed right down there to close up that gap. At the iron now, flip the strap toward the lining. We want to have the seam allowance going toward the outer bag and you can feel it. And then you're just going to give a little bit of a press here. Press this flat. It's just going to give you a better edge later. But you want to get that nicely flattened out before you put the lining inside. Okay, so now the whole lining is going to go inside. Now we just want to press a good edge all around the top. The inset goes down. The straps come up right at the edge here. Press a good edge there. Be sure to pull that seam right up to the edge. Arrange a nice edge and then press. You don't want to see the inside coming out. And then I'm going to sew around at probably the 20 line or three quarters of an inch. On an important top stitch like this, I have nice small back tacks right at the side seam. Try not to let the top fabric kind of push along. It'll look roped or twisted and you don't want that. I do keep a hand in behind so that I can guide it through smoothly. So I'm not pulling it through, I'm more or less just guiding it through with the tension on it that makes it lay flat. Beautiful. So I went around the top edge too, just to really give it a nice flat look. That just looks beautiful. The beautiful straps. And then inside the bag, there's that perfectly gorgeous inset zipper that just works so nice. It's so professional looking. It's just a great technique. So thank you to Mama Project for that technique. I'm going to use that a lot with my students. That's just so perfect. If you learned something today, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up too. It really helps me a lot. So until next time, you take care.